hello and namaskar to everyone and uh, i will start with what uh, my just my fellow nirati Nirat gupta has been talking about see from where the dynamism comes to see like uh, nirati gupta was saying that perception changes after 10 years 15 years whatever thinking about that today it is immoral but after 10 years when people's perception changes the morality changes so this is the dynamism from where because earlier morality itself was a law before constitutional constitutionalism came this morality itself was a law what the society thinks what the society thinks it is right it is law there was no codified law so like in earlier there was no distinction between law and the morals what is the moral is the law so i will take this opportunity to share some of my thoughts and experiences as a lawyer while dealing with legal provisions and in fact i will be testing myself as a speaker also so whatever questions you will have you please have it at the end of the sessions and i will give sufficient time to deal with almost i will try to deal with almost every questions so as a lawyer we should always be up to date on law and whatever legal provisions comes to whatever changes the whether it is by constitutional amendments or by supreme court judgments or by the parliament whatever the interpretation comes from a lawyer must always be up to date and i will share why a lawyer should be up to date today we have google we have everything when a client comes he comes sometimes he is up to date about law even more than a lawyer to whom he is going to consult so if a lawyer is not up to date he will get trumped anyway so i will say one of my experience first then i will explore the subject when in 2005 or 6 i started the practice one of my friend he was dealing in shares so he had given some post dated checks to his broker in anticipation that yes he will be trading on his behalf and whatever losses in fact those checks were like security so whatever losses or profits profits will come to his account and to is to ensure that losses he has gone into that okay all right i have these 5 lakhs of rupees checks and i will honor my promises if tomorrow from because of me there are losses in the trades so ultimately the the broker traded on his account and he he stated that yes we have suffered he, this person has suffered 10 lakh has losses and so he filed 138 cases for recovery so i was is close to him so he taken my advice and i said okay all right this is these are the options so and so options you can go by this that and op, trading was mostly in future and options in like uh, earlier in exchanges uh, option was not a uh, perhaps about 2000 or 2000 because 2000 after 2001 2002 this uh, option trading was so ultimately being a young lawyer my fellow thought that he should consult some senior advocate i accompanied him to the company 
company you know some you have some knowledge of law so you got, you so next day we went to his chamber and he said all right he thought he heard about the case okay how you started trading the that and he said okay all right you will win this case my client was very happy he said okay sir how sir he said okay how i will tell you once you pay my fees otherwise you have a lawyer accompanying you there is no you pay fees then i will tell how it is how i am going to do this so next day my client said okay or today i have not brought the fees so next day he withdraws money and i again accompany him went to his chamber he said okay all right bring that book of contract after pocketing the money he said okay you have section 23 to 30 these are the wager contracts your your broker should not have done these transactions so but i realized that sebi had allowed this option and uh, future and options by then and there was earlier also sebi was allowing such kind of tradings in the stock market so i said sir now the such kind of contracts are allowed then how will you prove that these are the wager contracts he may, he may lose the cases if he if we merely say that yes those were only option those were the wager contracts future future trading like like gambling and other things they are they, they work on different footings so my client was also he was he was income tax uh, practitioners he was also advocate uh, half advocate we can say because income tax practitioners they mostly work in a very confined field so he also said sir this may not work so what i am trying to say that fellow senior lawyer was not up to date about the law so the understanding of the client completely changed about him that yes although he paid fees and we also later on i did that case and we tried to show that this this was all the contracts which he has shown in his books of accounts they were not reflecting in the stock exchanges so we tried to put that they were dubba trading like in fact in uh, somewhere in 2000 before 2000 it was a dubba kind of trading that uh, most of the brokers do trading in his own books and there was no actual trading in the stock exchange uh, practically so if uh, any share is going up or down he is just putting that as yes, uh, Hundred shares in this man's in this fellow's account. Hundred shares in that in that account, and at the end of the day, see you have suffered losses. So mostly the brokers at that time, point of time they used to everybody is losses. So he he has many that yes you five lakhs, six lakhs, ten lakhs, twelve lakhs recovery is against the people. Ultimately, we won the cases because those contracts were not not reflected in the stock exchange. So we said. they were not allowed by the exchange so but had we pleaded that 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 this uh, see we have authorized him and this uh, merely because this is a future trade and uh, we are not liable then such then perhaps that may not have worked anyway i am on dynamism that a lawyer should be dynamic and law law is always law is always dynamic dynamic so my perspective is that the lawyer should adopt a lawyer must adopt new changes in his life suppose now the pandemic is there and we are not shifting to online mode then the lawyers after even this uh, after this pandemic would get over what i perceive that almost 25% of lawyers would, would get banished from scene like earlier we had 
hundred lawyers coming to every day to courts. Now, after this pandemic, when the court will open? Because they have they have failed to adapt this new technology. Because maybe various reasons. Because of their age. Because of their uh, non-availability of various other things. So what I'm trying to say is that this adaptation is important. Like when we say dynamism. Another example I wish to give that see the our Every time we are the earth we are sitting over is moving with a speed of almost one thousand six hundred seventy. So the movement of the earth, the speed of the earth, although we are not able to recognize that that yes, earth is moving with such a fast speed, but this change. This dynamism of the earth is important. So, if we go by how this adaptation and everything comes, if I am a science student, so I have read, we have read theories of Lamarck and Darwinism. They said, okay, those who we are here because our ancestors had had adopted to the new environment every time. New, although there is little bit difference on Lamarck and Darwinism, I will not go into much into that, but the idea is that adaptation is necessary in life. If you will adopt and if you will show your dynamism, you will survive, otherwise you will not. So when I choose this topic, I thought that every lawyer is expected to know law and to know the up-to-date law. Suppose we appear in court and cite an old law, an old judgment. And just said, okay, this Mr. Counsel, this judgment is already already reversed. What are you talking about? And that is why we every day we we subscribe various law journals, AIR, SEC online, and even it appears that law is not settled, and law will not settle. I will say that even in future, like uh, like uh, Nirati Madam had said that after because your moral your your perception is changing day and day about the society and about everything. So when we read a new judgments, so, and why it is important to emphasize, because you know, we have a legal match, a stare decisis, that is law is a, a ruling, previous ruling is, should be honored. It is not that you should, uh, court should stand by its, its precedents. It is not that, Today, court is pronouncing one judgment in one set of facts. On the same set of facts, court cannot pronounce a separate judgment. So, but this doctrine of state decisions should not be permitted to perpetuate any erroneous decisions pronounced earlier. So the court is court itself gives two conflicting says. Okay, one you will not change the what is what is earlier decided in a law and another you will you can change if there are something uh, erroneous is getting to be perpetuated so for that we have to go into the roots of the law why there is a dynamism see we have various sources of law we have international treaties we have case laws we have supreme court and uh, high court judgments parliamentary conventions treaties and then we have legal maxims and everything. Then why there are changes in law? Why law is so dynamic every time? And and after after a period of some hundred years, say decades, or after an era, there is a whole lot change. We can't we can't uh, even cope up with that. What what was what was valid in one thousand years ago? Today it is not valid. So. In fact, the law reflects the society itself, like family law. It has changes. Earlier, there was a polygamy. Now, there is a, you cannot practice that, that, those things. And there are law commissions. Government, every year, every five years, government sets up a law commission that, okay, whatever, wherever the law is required, it should be changed. Now, the Supreme Court, 
by virtue of article 141 says whatever the supreme court pronounces is binding on all courts so these are the sources from where we get law but without digging much deeper considering the time question i must confine myself why this necessity why why this change in change change in law so it is first i say that it is the necessity like earlier there was no law like uh, intellectual property every whatever you have you it is for everybody it is for the whole world but necessity international treaties they said okay these are the copyright laws you have to you have to evolve such kind of laws copyright designs patents ipr so these are all new facets of law they were earlier not known to then there are twin test whether law is why there are changes in law why law why law is dynamic there are twin test twin test says that whether law is efficient to control to achieve its object if law is not able to achieve its object today or tomorrow it will get changed certainly so but making the law most efficient what the what the uh, legislators do they make it more stringent and sometimes doing that they make in conflict with the constitution so while enacting a law we have to see whether it is whether it is efficient enough to curtail the to uh, curtail the menace curtail the mischief and it is in conformity with the, our constitution if you have made a very good law but it is not able to achieve these two objects if it is not efficient the society will say okay this is not good you have to change like in uh, after nirbhaya kand everybody knows what happened and and if we go by the definition of rape before uh, 2013 and now it is entirely different or if it is not in uh, consonance with our constitutional principles constitutional doctrines then uh, supreme court has article 13 it will review it will have a judicial review and it will do away with that law so this is another aspect now when i deal with article 12 uh, and 13 it says especially article 12 and 13 when court when uh, court have the power to review any law uh, passed by the parliament if it does not meet out the constitutional principles of uh, those basic structures and everything so now i am there are two judgments recent uh, like in in, to, in 2015 sriya singhal versus union of india like six, uh, section 66a so the society is changing very fast when earlier we were dealing with information technology and government thought that we must we must regulate this uh, third party ott platforms like uh, today we have twitter facebook and various other they said okay we we are only the service providers we are not the publishers we are just we just give platforms so whatever somebody is putting on that we should not we should we should not uh, okay so whatever we are we are receiving we are just making it public for everybody like facebook so many cases erupted that these are the these uh, social platforms has been misused and the fir got registered against them then the sriya singhal judgment came and it said okay they okay this section 66a is should be 
strike strike down another thing like uh, there is a very new things are, uh, are coming like in uh, earlier ports were considered as uh, you cannot uh, record you cannot do anything of court proceedings you, these these were considered very secretive like kind of things they were confidential or you can say they were privileged of the courts were having uh, privilege that you cannot record without court permission everything but now the, even the courts are going they are evolving their, themselves recently gujarat high court has started streamlining started its uh, whole proceedings every court if these they, they are not matrimonial disputes or they are not private disputes then the parties can watch live what is happening in the court like that that came after the this swapnil tripathi judgment in 2018 that is uh, sunlight is the best in disinfectant now again i will come to some more uh, topics like we have uh, we have certain laws who are which are under challenge right now like uapa uh, ota now many laws are currently under challenge before the supreme court though the parliament has power to to strike to repeal any law but the so once the supreme court has like a, like a njsc judgments they were they, they said no this you you are interfering in the uh, in the process of uh, in the independence of judiciary by just incorporating the law uh, law minister in, into it then we have uh, there are one uh, more judgments i wish to say there is one judgments of uh, marbury versus madison is this judgment is most talked right recently that judgment pertains to us supreme court of 1803 and in fact we borrowed this judicial review from there and this is in legal uh, circles particularly in supreme court so every judgments we are saying so this this court has these are although these are the established or constitution itself has given but in view of the conflicts in view of the day to day conflicts what is happening with the government and and uh, the courts so the court says okay we are the supreme we can do this so what why i am telling all these things a lawyer is best suited we know that yes this is the settled proposition of but we are best suited and we are the real force behind changes in law we can think out of the box and then say okay all right this law is not in conformity with the constitution this law is not in conformity at, at least we cannot change the law but we can argue for the courts we can we can say for uh, petitions in this way that see it should be changed we can convince the judges to evolve with the law so lawyer are the force behind this dynamism one more thing i wish to share now once this uh, google and others facebook they have come the era of artificial intelligence is coming and future in fact future belongs to these machine learnings if we like today if we search anything on googles next day we start getting lot of emails lot of promotional and everything now this artificial intelligence are proposed to be being used in judicial actions like uh, although the most of the judges are opposing this is most uh, important <laughs> most uh, interesting thing in fact that like uh, in swapnil tripathi judgment though, though the court said okay we will uh, allow the streamlining of uh, live streamlining of the judgment of the court proceedings but many 
are using this idea okay this is not this is not good for the institution you are putting pressure on the judges but as a one more step this machine learning is going to be more interesting although uh, law is not today there is no law to regulate such kind of things and we only say it, privacy data protection and other things so what do do the most most interesting thing of this uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning see once this machine and artificial intelligence will start its working they can even predict what a judge is going to decide in a case that would be very in in, in fact it will be most uh, i can say most evolved thing that yes even and no no judge wants that yes it should be tracked like this because you know when we appear in courts we know that what is the behavior of this is how this will is how how this judge is going to uh, behave in a particular manner suppose i have a, i want to share one example on this point when i just started practicing with a, as an intern so my senior wanted that this particular there was one msct case where the deceased deceased there was some alcohol found, uh, found in his uh, visra so judge uh, and judge was everybody knew that this judge is very fond of wine and he, he every day he takes so my senior wanted that this case should get decided for him because he knew his psychology that see if he will decide he will ignore that fact and if somebody will and that happened that happened when other side started arguing on that sir see the mlc and see the pm report visra there was alcohol in his also oh, oh, so hard so <laughs> i mean to say this machine learning when the law will come on these artificial intelligence machine learning they will predict what the judge how what uh, the judges point of view because if you will see any persons these are, judges are human beings if you analyze a judgment of judge uh, from his like somebody is coming from uh, sub judge to high court or supreme court if we analyze his judgments of last 10 15 20 30 years we will know his pattern so now this pattern is being opposed by the judiciary itself they say no no they will not allow this so <laughs> these are the evolving evolving uh, fields and uh, and uh, there are other situations where uh, i will like uh, like one aspect was there that uh, amendment power of constitution there was one separate lecture on that day when the when we were discussing about the preamble so on that day see the parliament has has empowered the laws to to whatever it suits like in constitution or constitution or any law but uh, for the to that aspect only and one more aspect i wish to discuss is just i i i just take my note where i had written that this was sir ji yes sir only one question yes yes is judicial i appreciate and uh, i like your lecture even so many posts have come because unlike other speakers you have spoken your personal experience with your case laws i yes. really appreciate thank you where i couldn't even put out of even for a minute but my question is question means is that just uh, internal exchange of the academic knowledge see in us all all courts are so shown 
all court proceedings are shown One, yes yes when the parliament which is a legislature body which is making laws all parliament debates are seen live live when makers of law are coming live what prevent judges from coming live my first question second question the supreme court has only two functions in entire constitution whether you read it this way that way what are interpretation only to implementation and interpretation first interpretation of law implementation of law okay ghus gaye executive may be exceeding their things less said is better so it is not that judicial humko malum pad jayega kya judgment denge kya nirna lenge that is not the case but like even ancient ancient times ancient times see ancient yeah, courts were always open yes yeah, sure tell and ancient medieval and modern okay we are in modern era even king used to give justice he used to give justice in the open in the open baba shivaji maharaj ka dekho maharashtra mein hu to yes yes dikha ve vikramaditya ya rana okay that justice system is a public system it is not a private system first of all it is my only humble suggestion ha theek hai judicial they should not opposite whatever the judicial accountability and checks and balances are they above the law for example a question only last point i'll put that 138 supreme court reverse entire country suffered entire yes, country yes yes i am final, i am representing nbfc company which has a 133 branches in maharashtra sriram finance company okay we suffered we come back again two years have gone again return the paper take back the papers that who is accountable is there anybody asking okay, exactly very very valid point may i may i yes and also one more thing have you have you have observed rightly there are whimsical comments unnecessary supreme court just recently said please restrain yourself murder charge tamil nadu high court said don't go to ac that extent you have to restore see a judge has to be balanced and be neutral actually do you function the unfair apna patri utar gaya ramjit mala i have not said yes, there yes. are two sets uh, you know made in the democracy one to only but function is one two set whether whether uh, defense or the prosecution only one to bring unwarnish truth before the court and court has to deliver the judgment without fear or favor that's all so yes paper so let us bring them into accountability same kind of accountability only just only one mr advocate he last is practice in trt he was debarred from trt matthew nedumpura he is yes alone. yes i i know him very well one more thing i'll tell you it is being recorded i, I don't mind okay there are only precedents by supreme court and you know that supreme court morning gives one judgment evening they change the judgment without without knowing that one word they did becomes a law of the land it repercussions it it impact on the directly litigants directly yes i fully yes i fully agree with mr uh, sai kumar see judicial accountability is must exactly and simultaneously not only the judicial accountability but there should be some sort of response judicial bullying should be stopped now judges like in uh, matthew nadimpur it was i will say that it was a judicial bullying you you stop any lawyer from arguing that just uh, to give a lesson to him that was i think although i may write an article on that but <laughs> you know Uh, and even that uh, learned judge is going to retire on this uh, perhaps 12th of august so you know when the a particular judge is there he tries to evolve a particular law this is very strange i have seen such kind of things suppose as a, as a junior judge there are five judges uh, five judge uh, judgment is there and four versus one now then when this one becomes chief justice of india becomes senior he immediately tries to impose that that minority view on the majority view he ah. will form such a he will form such a uh, bench 
where those judges who share his thoughts so such kind of uh, you know when there is doctrine of ishtiya decides that there should be law precedent should be respected exactly but they don't respect their own precedent because it does not suits uh, their point of view somewhere when uh, when they were uh, in, in minority they could not but now they are in majority you know most of the judgments when we see uh, three judges to five judges to seven judges to nine judges to 11 judges what yes, happens what happens we we as a lawyer we say that is yes, the law changes with the perception of the, with the judges <laughs> perception his perception got changed now the law start law starts changing not initially he will pass this in his small judgment okay this is so he will develop he will keep on developing that particular law from high court it is because is why i i said that this machine learning and artificial intelligence they will predict it exactly where the judge is heading to so that they are true. opposing they are opposing because they will get caught you this is what prejudice law always judges should be beyond prejudice they should That's not be they should not be prejudice from any facts any facts of law but see when you have a, you have a track record of deciding against accused persons you, you say it is this judge is a pro conviction mind he will he will or this judge has some Uh, mind to grant bail in each and every case. I so, lay with humility at my command. Yes. Once the high court judge is appointed, so also Supreme Court, they cannot be removed except two third majority of the parliament after moving privilege motion. It is one aspect which is not done only in Ramaswamy case, where Kapil Sibal argued for two and a half hours in parliament, and uh, he convinced every them, and even that mo- that privilege motion was dismissed. and i have various cases public me but we are un- not allowed to speak up you know i don't know what bar council of india is doing in this respect then secondly see with this all technology i am telling juniors bro i have put in just little 35 years i am settled in life i am a special pp union of india special public bro maharashtra bar i don't i am ex president of the bar twice we we have a different way to go but high court bombay the court of the court advocate is not there on a listed day it is called out and this i say why you are taking email you are taking mobile you give one opportunity no then restoration application why all this simplicity corona put it before registrar general or in yes, yes. you process. can call the counsel give one call one judge mr kata wala justice kata wala is very fine judge very fine judge when last two month also he worked up to 11 pm justice kadali told why didn't you apply i said sir i am not exclusively practicing here and my bro my and nobody would take here i had to appear myself my lord i'll add one more thousand to the lordship just any counsel here any junior i will hand over i'll go i'm not interested in wasting the time Public time of this sir. Immediately looked at me. Now he is my favorite judge. He knows me well. He immediately restored. So all this nonsense have to be stopped now. See, once uh, that expedition of the you know administration of justice delay, pandemic has caused more delay. In this uh, formalities and other things, they are wasting more yes, time. Yes, 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 Mr. Mr. Sai Kumar. If I give some more words to your thoughts, see. our bar is our bar is not standing on its spine they they you know we must criticize our bars they are not standing up to they the standards they are doing anything for they, they, they fact, involve sir, some other things is, and that is unfortunate fact sir i have drafted one letter ask yes. keshav ji sent him to friend all over india you also please send it but it is physically open i drafted one letter for reopening physical reopening of district and subordinate courts i wrote about the junior advocates who have completed double graduation they are on road practically absolutely nothing yes, yes. and you have come up in life with your hard work so who, what is there after learning there is no infrastructure ab bolte digital karo see i understand even way behind i am with you i am not technology no, sir sir the idea idea behind my this topic was this that see 
we are suffering with covid and virus is changing from last one year virus is <laughs> virus is itself is a dynamic you know, you know earlier earlier there was one virus then we have beta delta gamma now see only two seconds i take sir because junior it wants to, it, it is adapting to laptop junior don't have <laughs> A desktop. No. How will they appear in person? And they get some miscellaneous work, either from seniors or from litigants, and they survive on that. That is stopped totally. Yeah, we have to evolve. We have to evolve on that. I am not on that. I am only. I was only on that. Case to share that letter to you. Abhi beji in your individual capacity. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you See, very much, sir. Very kind of you. No. You have answered satisfied with your answer. I am so thankful to you for you for your listening. Sir, In fact, idea the, was idea the, just I proposed. The paper you delivered your lecture without looking any paper. <laughs> great, great. I, I I like to hear again on another topic again. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Mr. Keso. Yes, sir. So. I wish that I should uh, conclude, and I am opening to any questions to any of my friends who are here. Any of exchange of ideas and thoughts, I am here for. I think we must give four or five minutes to everyone to explore. And you know, if anybody is coming with any idea, any any some uh, after this, uh, we can. Say it is in fact it is interactive session. So if anybody is having any idea. why this law is changing and what what inputs we can give so he must come with yes so um, so in the meanwhile i think uh, actually it was very enlightening sir the entire conversation that has happened and obviously the lecture that you have uh, given so far so um, definitely please guys everyone whatever questions you have see this is the moment when you have to take free legal advice right iske bina aoge to paise dene padenge to isliye thoda take advantage of this time actually i i am actually trying to get people to understand this fact that this is one point of time wherein all advocates all senior advocates that they will not deny any question that they have and they will not have to pay anything so people should come but again that's a separate thing you know so, Yes, sir. I will share one thing. In future, lot of environmental laws and everything are coming. You know, now the courts have started that uh, we will use only this A4 size paper. But even in most of uh, in during pandemic, I filed four five cases, and original files are with me. And I will tell you how much we have saved. we have saved almost you know when we make union of india party and lot of their officers and i al almost six seven parties so had it been a physical court in physical court we would have been forced at least give three sets of paper books to everybody like to union of india then to another institution to another issue like i mean i mean for 18 sets suppose we have a 200 page file and 18 sets of paper book how much it costs now today we just scanned it and one pdf file sent to all so it saved too much cost i somewhere i have uh, uh, i felt that it is almost 5 to 10000 rupees per case and original file is still with me case even few cases got disposed of they got decided so future is paperless you have to adopt this new technology by uh, by whatever means you cannot say no because as i said earlier that almost 25% lawyers would get banished from the picture and this is good opportunity for young lawyers i will i will say even the supreme court and high courts have been saying that yes this is a good opportunity for lawyers you know uh, we have a senior uh, mr agrawal like uh, you know now he is 94 years old so he said he told he asked me uh, yaar arun ek din aa jao i want to see how this all all these things works so i went to his home along with all my dongle and other things although the net connectivity is not very good on in dongle uh, so i went to his home and shown him so those advocates who were having a roaring practice 
those who are earning lakhs of rupees per day they are now penniless sitting at home because they are not adapting to technology and there are multiple factors it is not that just technology you have to learn you have to listen you have to evolve yourself and i have seen also that many senior lawyers they immediately catch up they got immediately catch up they they had everything now they have not not only juniors or young lawyers they are even the most seniors i have seen some uh, uh, seniors who are now those who are arguing dealing in supreme court and high court they have evolved themselves sir, I, sir, I think i know who you are talking about the kind of advocates <laughs> you are talking about yes, I, yes, so, most people know and so, I, i am actually thrilled sir i'll just want to contribute a little bit i am actually thrilled the moment something is happening right with a person who has a lot of money the moment something is happening on that very topic with respect to that very case there is so much of so many specific advocates who are obviously all are celebrity advocates i would say i would not want to comment upon who they are and how they practice definitely yes exactly these are the, you know there is a large lot of things bench hunting and other things this is, yeah. this is happening no doubt but it's it's very sir, but again sir with respect to the topic that you've kept only dynamicism of law so so how dynamic things are so what you have also discussed with sai sir also uh, was very courteous enough to uh, shed so much light on it sir uh, with respect to one thing which he said uh, which was about that later sir i'll share that later with you it's also solely about how junior advocates today are having to suffer at the brunt of the entire covid pandemic because there was initially a lot of miscellaneous work which was being done which was which you would also give to your juniors which so many yes, yes. give See. to the juniors which is stopped entirely today and apart from that definitely sir please i proposed to some of my uh, bar members that yes why not have seminars and conference and uh, like you have started free classes we can bring such kind of things you know when you deal with uh, pdf files so general idea when i before this pandemic i was having this these are non editable files files we cannot edit them we cannot do this like, like you cannot uh, flag them but now there are multiple softwares when i started uh, adopting all these things then we purchased one uh, pdf software okay all right this will uh, we are able to you know once you purchase those software are you there are free software also available in app and other things so you need not even purchase those softwares pdf file is like i am on although I'm, it is not on topic but i think how this how we will adopt i just want to just to educate if somebody is not you know pdf format is this portable document format its name itself is this portable document format like if you prepare a physical file and you have 200 pages you can uh, take out any page and put somewhere else so similar is a pdf you have 200 pages pdf file and but you feel that yes uh, this this particular page is at a wrong place so you need not to get again for its uh, rescanning you just open that software and you place it from here to there so and i was you know initially when i started doing all these things so i was thrilled yaar ye to bahut acha hai ye to bahut easy hai i can do it i can save money of <laughs> ki again yaar pehle to dobara jana padta tha usko dobara bhejna padta tha high court mein niche dena padta tha but ab kya hai ab kya hai ki main apne aap maine computer on kiya aur usme apna wo page wahan se wahan jo page jahan marzi hai usko laga ke theek kar liya kahi kuch add karna hua pagination automatic pagination dal diya wo dobara sara page warna ek page ke liye main main batau in 2006 में मैंने एक एस एल पी लगाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तो वो एस एल पी डिफेक्ट में आ गई और इट वॉज माई फर्स्ट एस एल पी सुप्रीम कोर्ट तो डिफेक्ट में आ गई तो उसमें शुरू के कुछ पेजेस उसने कहा इसको रिप्लेस करो ये नहीं चलेंगे इसमें तो हमने वो एंड इट वॉज यूज टू वॉल्यूम एस एल पी बहुत सारे उसमें इन्वॉल्व थे तो मैंने वो कुछ पेजेज हटा दिए तो सारा जो आगे का नंबरिंग था सब खराब हो गया मैं सारी रात बैठ के फ्रूट लगाता रहा 
सर आज मैं सोचता हूँ इतनी कंफर्टेबल हो गई एक्चुअली आज की डेट में सर आज मैं ये सोचता हूँ आई कैन आई कैन यस आज की डेट में अगर वही फाइल हमारे पास होती हम एक क्लिक से सारे पेजिनेशन ठीक कर देते Sir, what is the name of the software, sir? Can you repeat it, sir? Yes, you can. You can uh, purchase this Adobe, and there are other uh, software like Foxit, Phantom. There are other uh, even document scanner. जो आपके पास time scanner में भी there are options. जहाँ पे आप PDF files को आप arrange, rearrange कर सकते हैं. Otherwise, अगर आप uh, purchased वो लेना चाहते हैं subscription, तो Adobe है. Adobe थोड़ा महंगा है. क्या करते हैं कि हमारे पास ऑप्शन होता है फ्लैग उठाया लगा लिया जहां हमको इम्पोर्टेंट लगता है ना इवन इन डिजिटल फाइल्स यू कैन डू दीज थिंग्स You can use another software, जैसे liquid text है, other text. Yes, these are the software available on. The, so you can use these text, these softwares, to not to take printouts, rather to go for online, rather go for uh, these holy software like uh, you have everything in your computer. So I what I am trying to suggest those who are young lawyers. they have to evolve themselves they have to learn these things because future is this this is coming and this is this is going to be compulsory everywhere so sir so just uh, i'll just uh, jump in a bit little bit uh, mr yudhishthir koshik who's also another young advocate he's also suggested another application it's called i love pdf yes yes there are free the software best yes. free software available there are many you will search on google you will find many without paying a single penny you can edit you can do lot of things and you can even highlight you can your softwares are available so you will enjoy like a physical argument yes, arun sir soft, arun sir very software. briefly sir i have another few questions uh, one is yeah, from yeah, sure. mr sanjeev only uh, which he has uh, written down in the uh, in the chat box i'll just uh, reiterate it to you sir so it says uh, why can't firs or police complaints be noted uh, other rta answers be given by authority in english as an added option as everyone is not able to understand each and every word of marathi or any other regional language as some people come to mumbai in transfer and are not well versed with regional languages also sir he adds why not dynamicism to change the strict day to day practice which will be beneficial to all see for second question first then i will come to then i will elaborate the first one see we have a doctors we cannot dynamic we cannot add dynamicism to every day you know like nirati uh, ma'am has said that it takes 15 years and you it, sometimes it takes decades to change the mindset of the people persons so if law if we, every day we will start like in 138 matters mr sai kumar was giving one very good example of 138 you know what happened all over india people this court is court mein jao fir ab us court mein jao fir us court mein now three four courts itni zyada pareshani hui 138 ke logon ko ultimately this parliament has settled the law okay all right you file over this now the place is decided but before that due to the variety of judicial pronouncements crores of crores of litigants had to suffer it was very difficult so dynamism every day dynamism is not possible in law particularly you have to wait for you have to uh, it, it takes time during uh, in due course you will be able to now the first question was sir but if we Sir, can I interrupt, sir? sir yes. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Make a police yeah. complaint. Sir, each and every word is sir, very important. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. We, uh, yeah, sir. If we give a police complaint, sir, the police person or the inspector he writes it in his own words and this that. Sir, the meaning can be different when we go to argue in the court. The judge may not give a judgment in our favor. He may write anything. Uh, he may be biased or he may write anything. Even the sir, when we get RTI answers, sir, most of the language we cannot understand. We just try to understand, but we are not understanding it fully. So if they give a added option, 
So, and there is an article um, which says sir, anyone can migrate in any uh, state of the state to do service and all that. So we are just telling to uh, the police, give an added option, or to the RTI who are giving answers, give an added option. Okay, we want the, sir, we need not run for each and every translation here and there. So if an added option we mark, okay, give us answers in English, or note our complaints in English, so we can win many cases which we may be losing or something. Or we are not, uh, uh, sir, understand we are not understanding, sir, there are many things, whatever answers we are getting. Sir, yes, everyone see. is not fluent in speaking Marathi or uh, sir, same problem maybe with other person who go to Kerala or maybe uh, some other Karnataka state. Sir, there they'll be given, sir. So each and every time a person will be running to a translator, sir. Yes. Now, can I respond, Mr. Sanjeev? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. See, English has been considered as a language of convenience. So initially, it was thought that it would be convenient, convenient for the Supreme Court and particularly higher courts that you know in supreme courts cases are coming from various we have uh, 38 languages in fact which is mostly primarily they are written uh, they have their own grammar they have their own everything so now the supreme court out in uh, just outgoing uh, cgi they started a practice of uh, developing some software to, to interpret those judgments in every regional languages some of the, in fact, some of the judgments were also translated. So like in FIR also, even the CPC, CRPC, Evidence Act, they all say that court must endeavor to record verbatim in the language the witnesses is speaking. So this concern was not, it is not a new, con new concern. It, this concern existed even at the time of this, uh, this uh, enactment itself. Lawmakers are aware that this causes injustice and prejudice if you are not able to record verbatim in his own language. But the difficulty arises when appeals, revisions, and upper courts, when we go to upper courts, then they say, okay, well, we can't read this. We are from, we only know Hindi and English. We can't read this Marathi language. So you are very right that sometimes when we changes, when we translate, we, we remove its souls from the statement itself. So it is, it is really, we must do and we must endeavor. In fact, the lawmakers, or we uh, suppose there is one demand. One demand is uh, like we must have four Supreme Court, all uh, all four places. It is not the Delhi only. We should have a Supreme Court in Northeast, in South, everywhere. So those judges and those appeals which are arising from there, they can deal with that. Like in NCL, NCLAT, earlier there was only in Delhi, so demand arises and now it is in Chennai also. So this, I think this uh, issue will keep on cropping up, but English has been considered as language of convenience, language of communication between various languages. So I think it will remain, it is not going to change. So, so we have to... <laughs> so, but at, at least, please. Sir, but at least at uh, lower uh, sir, police stations or something, we can start. So at the basic level, yeah, we yeah, should start. Yeah, maybe, so yeah, maybe of, some software. Yeah, maybe some software. Filing can, of NCs which, or which can... FIRs. There should be some software. Filing of NCs, uh, FIRs. Sir, we should do it. We are allowed to write it in English. Or the person who is uh, sending us answers, he can give the answers in English as an added option. We are not saying hey, don't keep Marathi. We are not against any language. Give us an added option. It will be easy for us to write the complaints also. And when you give the answers, we can tell them by RTI ka answer. Ye. Give us in English. It will be better for us to understand. So yes, I, every word... I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, that, uh... Sir, uh, small child is born in a Marathi family. Sir, he'll be fluent uh, just within one year. But for us to master it, it will take 10 years or 20 years. Sir. Yes, you or know. Or a baby is born, he knows Kannada very well in two years. Yeah, I have, have you read born, this new NEP. -E so to master that will take 20 years or more. See, Mr. Sanjeev, uh, there are 
research which says that if a child up to five five years ten years it learns in his own language mother tongue it it develops the habit of thinking habit of lot of things but if you teach a child in some other language his habit of thinking gets curtailed you know ye bahut bada issue hai and i i personally feel जो बच्चों को जो एजुकेशन दी जाती है इट शुड बी गिवन इन दियर मदर टंग मैं बताऊं अभी भी आप भी वी कीप ऑन बी स्पीक इन इंग्लिश बट वी थिंक इन हिंदी ये ये क्या डिलेमा है ये समथिंग इज रॉन्ग विद द एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ये जो भी आपने बात करी है इट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज व्हिच इज नॉट गुड फॉर द चाइल्ड बट फॉर एवरीवन अ यूनिवर्सल इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज ओके नो सर इंग्लिश तो यूनिवर्सल है We are not saying yeah. to give answers in Hindi. Sanjeev ji, Sanjeev ji, I'll no, sir. Sanjeev ji, I'll option. Sanjeev ji, I'll I'll just you know have to interrupt with this particular question because again, universally, Jaisa ki sir has already said that it's a time taking process. It will take its own sweet time. We will have to bear with it. But ऐसा कुछ I don't think that एक दिन में ही कोई ताज महल बना देना है. Yes, it will take it will time. It will take time. Gradually, it will keep on happening, and it will happen. The, the direction that you're talking about, that dynamicism, that it, that is the process. I think that has already been undertaken by uh, the courts and all the so you know various authorities that sir has also already uh, spoken about. So uh, with respect to that, sir, I think our time is also up, and we cannot how howsoever much. Sir, it would sir, be sir, fun last, to sir, continue. Sir, one last question. Bol, yes, bolo, Sanjeev ji. Sir, sir, one last favor. Sir, what was the name of that Google? Uh, Google free Google software, so which we can change the page numbers and the page we can transform uh, from here to there. So what was the name of that Google software? So can sir tell us once more? Can you repeat See, that, sir? Uh, I you can use various like we have a document scanner. You can insert pages when you open a software. You can insert pages. Uh, I'm lost in the top of there is a header footer. You can go there and. Uh, doc scanner can scanner whatever softwares and uh, like uh, mr somebody okay. has just to caution yes sir he has yeah, mentioned i love another, pdf i love, love PDF. pdf you go in the header and footer and insert their page number and just enter everything will get all the pages will get page numbered so <laughs> the name of the google software so the name of the google software no it google is not software. google you can i said you can google it it means you can it is not okay. google software it is software developed by acha acha third parties but available but you can ha uh, you can avail them them free of cost there are some some software even in their trial versions you will get lot of uh, features acha. which you can use it So uh, I have uh, used the Isle of PDF, but there we can stick. Uh, we can uh, stitch the pages in a sequence. So, but whether that five can be made four or four can be made three. Now, this is this is borderline four. consultation. I think he will have to probably charge okay. you now. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I think you will have to experiment with these. Everyone is actually everyone is having to do all of these things right now, and probably you will also experiment. You will find the appropriate software for you. Uh, Arun, so there is one last question from Miss Madhvi. and uh, would you want to ask that question yourself ma'am yes sir uh, so this is this side madhvi here firstly i would like to say your lecture is uh, really very uh, enlarging us and it's very informative and uh, my question here is like uh, suppose like a non local person is there in uh, maharashtra and uh, where uh, an fir is registered in marathi so uh, there is some kind of uh, a problem like where uh, the translation is not correct and there is where the non local person have uh, mentioned uh, some other thing and they have noted down some other way in due to the language so can we go for any correction about it like fir cannot be corrected but can we inform the same before the court once a charge it uh, once a charge sheet is filed can we uh, do anything about it can we mention to the court yes can i respond yes sir thank yeah see the best way whenever you go for any fir ek hota hai rukka usko wo chahe wo rukka bola jata hai urdu ka language urdu ka word hai wo whatever statement you record you record in your language aur usko police wale ko de do 
दैट इज कॉल्ड रुका आप अपनी भाषा में वो कहेगा नहीं जी मेरी समझ में नहीं आता क्या है आप कह रहे मैं इसको बता रही हूँ आप इसको उतारो तो इनफैक्ट एफ आई आर से पहले भी एक डॉक्यूमेंट होता है उसको बोलते हैं रुका ओके वो रुका ही एफ आई आर है दरअसल आपकी तो बेस्ट वे क्या रहता है वेन एवर यू अप्रोच एनी पुलिस स्टेशन आप उसको एक जो अपना स्टेटमेंट आपका खुद का स्टेटमेंट जो आपने लिखा हुआ है उस रुका को उसको दे दो वो उस पर मोहर लगाएगा एक आपकी आपको एक उसकी रिसीट डी डी नंबर डाल के दे देगा दैट डी डी एंट्री विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन एफ आई आर अब ये उसकी प्रॉब्लम है कि वो उसको कैसे अपनी भाषा में लैंग्वेज में कन्वर्ट करता है वो okay. लेकिन आपके जो आपका जो वर्जन है वो इंटैक्ट रहेगा कल को अगर कोर्ट में वो खुलेगी फाइल तो आप कहते तो जी मेरा रुका ये है मुझे नहीं पता इसने एफ आई आर में क्या लिखा मैंने तो जो बताया ये बताया आई देर कान बी टू डिफरेंट वर्जन ऑफ एंसिडेंट या जो मैं कन्वे करना चाहती थी वो मैं ये कन्वे करना करना चाहती थी अपनी लैंग्वेज में कन्वे करना चाहिए या कंप्लेंट जो कन्वे कर, करना चाहता है वो ये कन्वे करना चाहता है ये नहीं करना जो ये एफ आई आर में लिख के ले आए दे आर मैनिपुलेटिंग दे आर हेल्पिंग बहुत सारे लॉट ऑफ एलिगेशन यू कैन पुट या सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यूर सर बट बट इसमें क्या हुआ है देर इज अफ केस आई मीन रुका वो आपने जो पता है वो सबमिट नहीं किया है एफ आई आर हो गई है एंड चार्जशीट भी चले गया है सो हाउ डू आई करेक्ट अबाउट इट नाउ आई मीन इट्स नॉट द इट्स ओनली वन सेंटेंस लेकिन उनका मीनिंग बहुत ही अलग हो गया है मैं बताता हूँ आपको या उसके लिए क्या होता है इसको बोलते हैं ततीमा बयान यानी जो सप्लीमेंट्री स्टेटमेंट इंग्लिश में उसको बोलते हैं ओके एवरी पुलिस ऑफिसर चार्जशीट जब तक नहीं फाइल होती है बिफोर चार्जशीट इज फाइल आप वो आपका बयान लिखेगा पहले देखिए स्टेटस क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर में क्या है सबसे पहले आप एक इन्फॉर्मेशन देते हो इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वर्बल एनी थिंग आपका वो रह गया एफ आई आर गॉट रजिस्टर्ड नाउ ही कम्स विद अनदर यू हैव यू थिंक दैट आई हैव फॉरवर्ड दिस थिंग देन यू कैन गिव योर सप्लीमेंट्री स्टेटमेंट That see, this is my supplementary statement, and I am clarifying my previous position. That becomes part of charge sheet. So, tomorrow, if in the court of law, this is 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 the court वो उसका वो बनाएगा अनेक्सर बनाएगा कि देखिए ये चलान के साथ साथ हमने ये अनेक्सर लगाया है दी जा रहा सप्लीमेंट्री स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस फेलो सो वो आपकी पोजीशन जो है देखिए जो हो चुका है अगर आप ये चाह रहे हैं कि एफ आई आर में वो काट के और भरा जाए तो वो नहीं हो सकता लेकिन यू कैन ऑलवेज सप्लीमेंट दैट इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू बट इट इट के नॉट बी सेड एज आफ्टर थॉट राइट नो वाई आफ्टर थॉट यू नो दिस इज दिस इज ए Accused version, defense version. Why are you going on defense version? Okay. You you stick to your own version. You say okay. this is my this is my original version. This is what I wanted to convey to the police, but they got it uh, derailed. They recorded in their own language. What can I do? Okay. I do not know Marathi, but I know Hindi. I am I am putting I am saying in Hindi when I learned from some of my friends that your version is this. Then I immediately interrupted and I filed so, my petition. Suppose you have made a copy. Sir, can I uh, uh, interrupt? Sir, suppose you have made a complaint in 2016, but the yes. police are uh, destroying old uh, documents. They don't want to keep any records, so they are destroying all uh, documents till 2017. Sir, you have to sign. Lele, you have a copy. You give to court. Sir, but the police will say we have destroyed all documents. We don't have any of their uh, documents. So, if you have a complaint, sir, I have made a complaint. I have not explained. You have not explained. आप ऐसे कैसे करें वो डॉक्टर मैंने एक पुलिस कंप्लेन की आ, 2016 में पुलिस ने मेरी कोई कंप्लेन नोट की थी 2016 में बट दे आर डिस्ट्रॉइंग ऑल डॉक्यूमेंट्स था वो ठप्पा लेके मेरे पास है व्हेन द केस कम्स इन कोर्ट इन 2017 व्हेन आई गिव दैट के सर द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ माय स्टेटमेंट वाज दिस एंड आई हैड आई हैव गिवन दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन इन 2016 सर बट द पुलिस वाज से के वी हैव डिस्ट्रॉयड दिस इन 2017 नहीं नहीं अगर देखिए अगर चार्जशीट फाइल हो गई है या चार्जशीट फाइल होनी है उस किसी केस में कोर्ट कॉग्निजेंस लेगा देन दे कैन नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय लाइक दिस नंबर वन नंबर टू यू हैव ऑलरेडी हैव द रिसीट अगर आपके पास उसका डीडी नंबर है जब आपने करवाया था दैट विल बी कंसीडर्ड यू कैन लीड सेकेंडरी एविडेंस फिर तो आप सेकेंडरी एविडेंस पे चले जाएंगे ना कि भाई देखिए वी हैव वी हैव दिस प्रूफ एंड नाउ द सिंस द ओरिजिनल पुलिस हैज डिस्ट्रॉयड दिस ओरिजिनल सो आई आई विश आई बी आई मे बी प्रोसीडेड विद द सेकेंडरी एविडेंस 
so you can lead secondary evidence on that point okay. see yes. the cpc and crpc you know cpc and crpc so exhaustive agar koi vakil case ko chalana chahe khinchna chahe to wo 50 saal tak khinchta rehta hai i have personal experiences 20 25 saal to kuch hota hi nahi 7 8 saal tak to charge hi nahi frame hone pata hai sir vv sir is also wanting to say something nahi mai yahi bol nahi mai मैं यही बोलना चाह रहा था कि अगर ओरिजिन से खो गया है तो जैसे सेकेंडरी एविडेंस रिकॉर्ड पे लिया जा सकता yes, है yes, exactly. लेकिन सेकेंडरी एविडेंस इसको रिकॉर्ड पे लेने की टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन है उनको फुलफिल करना होगा अदरवाइज वो सेकेंडरी सेकेंडरी एविडेंस डॉक्यूमेंट एक्सेप्ट नहीं होगा बिल्कुल ठीक उसके 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 जो रिक्वायरमेंट हो तो फुलफिल करनी पड़ेगी आपको यू हैव टू शो दैट दोज डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर जेनुइन इंटैक्ट एंड देयर वर रीजंस बिहाइंड नॉट पुटिंग देम अर्लियर ऐसा क्या कारण था जो आज तक लेके नहीं आया आज तक बॉक्स को यू हैव टू यू हैव टू सेटिस्फाई द कंसियस ऑफ द कोर्ट यू हैव टू सेटिस्फाई द कंसियस ऑफ द कोर्ट दैट दीज आर जेन्युइन रेलेवेंट और एंड रेलेवेंट टू द फैक्ट्स इन इशू जो जो सेक्शन 6 कहता है कि व्हाट एवर वेदर दे प्रूव और डिसप्रूव एनी एनीथिंग्स तो अगर आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स किसी किसी फैक्ट्स इन इशू को प्रूव करते हैं या डिसप्रूव करते हैं तो दे आर रेलेवेंट अभी एक दिन एक क्लास हो रही थी रेलेवेंसी पे आई वाज लिसनिंग दैट क्लास बट यू नो आपको एविडेंस वही देने लेने होते हैं जो फैक्ट्स इन इशू है और जो रेलिवेंट है और फैक्ट्स इन इशू क्या है जो वो जैसे सिविल में तो इशू फ्रेम होते हैं और क्रिमिनल में चार्ज फ्रेम होता है तो जो वो चार्ज को प्रूव या डिसप्रूव कर रहा है अगर आपका वो डॉक्यूमेंट चाहे सेकेंडरी है चाहे जैसा है अगर वो आपका डॉक्यूमेंट जेनुइन है और पहले आप उसको किसी वजह से नहीं दे पाए एक वैलिड रीजन है तो आप उसको सेकेंडरी एविडेंस में कोर्ट की कंसियस को अगर सेटिस्फाई करते हैं तो दे विल टेक इट एंड दे विल कभी कई बहुत सारे केस सेकेंडरी एविडेंस पे डिसाइड होते हैं ऐसा नहीं सिर्फ प्राइमरी एविडेंस पे केस डिसाइड मेनी केसेस आर बीइंग डिसाइडेड डिस्पोज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एविडेंस जैसे क्रिमिनल में उसको सरकमस्टांसियल एविडेंस भी बोलते हैं बट आई एम नॉट ऑन बट मैं जब सेकेंडरी एविडेंस कह रहा हूँ तो मैं डॉक्यूमेंट समझ के कह रहा हूँ so here yeah, we are talking about police complaint we have made a police complaint but they have destroyed their own police complaint which we have uh, made so they didn't lodge the fir they have written uh, so they have taken a simple complaint but they have destroyed their own papers now we have just only the thappa which they have given see uske liye to dekh ki agar unhone unhone galat tarike se destroy kiya hai to unke khilaf departmental inquiry ho sakti hai bahut sari aap sending a letter to us they are sending a letter to us via email that we have destroyed the old documents नहीं तो आप उसके लिए कोर्ट में कह सकते हैं साहब इन्होंने इन्होंने गलत तरीके से डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिया टू हेल्प अक्यूज पर्सन इनके खिलाफ डिपार्टमेंटल इंक्वायरी की जाए इनको इनको सजा दी जाए इनको सस्पेंड किया जाए और हमारा ये जो रिकॉर्ड है इसको एज ए सेकेंडरी एविडेंस ट्रीट करके इसको रिकॉर्ड पे लिया जाए अकॉर्डिंग टू उसने नहीं डिस्ट्रॉय किया This is there was malafide and departmental action should be taken against him. But if you are executing, if he was uh, he has destroyed in in pursuant to any government order or anything, then you cannot do it. Then you have to go only for secondary evidence. Yes, there is no other. Email also, okay, we have destroyed all papers till 2017. You they are you, sending also the email from the police station. Better move an application for secondary evidence. That is the best. Okay, way. sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. so arun sir thank you so much for uh, taking your time out conducting this class today sir it's been a real pleasure it's been really uh, great thank you so much